Mr. Chris here, and I'm just going to be chatting to you about this amazing game. Let's face it, it's there behind me. We got donated to us by a fellow designer. I missed out on the original Kickstarter, so I was very thankful when we got this sent across. Let's have a bit of a closer look. So we'll get some some photos up on screen so you guys can see. Um, the original box that, that, that was sent across to me was, like I say, is absolutely stunning. The fact that the components that are inside this game just as beautiful. You, as you can see here, we've got some of the, the main camps that you have during the game as well as some of the some tokens that are required during the game as well as some of the base me mechanic cards that are you know shown on screen to just describe what's going on the main concept of the game is uh, after an apocalyptic event and water is the most sacred resource your aim of the game is to be the the last survivor in a, in a 1v1 player pitched battle you have three camps by default the initial intro game recommends you have standard ones for, for an intro game you then customize these and lot gives lots of replayability because lots of the camps have different abilities you can see here some of the the, the other player setup for this game and basically you work your way through a, a set turn sequence your three bases represent three columns and you get two rows in front of those bases to basically say, uh, these are my defenders. You've got to get through the first row of defenders to the second row of defenders to get through to destroy the base. The player with the last base standing, he wins. The concept of this game is not very unique because let's face it, we've seen other apocalyptic postcard games, but this one is uh, different in its own, in own sense. It's quick to play you can play it within 30 minutes the, the replayability is vast because let's face it you've got uh, multiple bases but it's a level playing field overall uh, it's a great game i absolutely love this i played this with fellow geek mr sam and we both really enjoyed the game the card stock in this game is beautiful the card and the artwork is fantastic it's the first card game where i don't have to sleeve up I really don't. So I'm really chuffed to say that I will not be sleeving these up because you can bend them and try to fold them and they go back. The tokens are just as beautiful. So water is the main resource in the game, but overall um, it's just top notch. 